In this video series, we will calculate quantities using Revit model. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we calculated concrete and estimated steel quantities from our structural model. Link of the structural model is attached in the link below. Now we will calculate the bar bending schedule of footings. Go to view ribbon. Click on schedule quantities button. Select structural rebar from the list of categories. Rename this table as footing bar bending schedule. Press OK. Now we will select from the available fields. First of all, select host category. Then host mark. Host count. Bar diameter. Type. Bar length. Quantity. Total bar length. Reinforcement volume. Shape. Image. Now we will select lengths I, B, and G. Select comments and then press OK. This table shows all the rebars used in the project. There are foundation, columns, beams, and slabs. First of all, let's apply filter on host category. Click on filter. Select host category. Now in filter, select structural foundations. Press OK to proceed. This is the table containing bar bending details for foundations. Now we will hide this column by right-clicking on it. This host mark column is empty. We will open footing plan and select all the footings by applying filter. Now in the properties panel, we will add F1 in the mark parameter. Host mark has been applied on the footings. Now we'll sort the table on bar length parameter. Click on sorting. Select bar length. Now uncheck, itemize every option. Now our bar bending schedule for footings is ready. We have eight F1 footings. There are 11 short and nine long bars. Each bar length is multiplied by its quantity. To calculate total bar length, now we will insert shape image. In the footings, we have used shape two. In image parameter, click on the three dots. In the right side of cell, now we will insert bar shapes. The link of standard bar shapes as per ACI code have been attached in the description below. Choose shape two from the list. Now we will add this shape in the bar bending schedule. Add same shape in the other direction as well. Now we will place our bar bending schedule for footings on the sheet. Just drag and drop this schedule from the project browser. Our bar bending schedule for footings is ready. We will make image section bigger. Now it looks nice. This table describes there are eight F1 footings having number six bars. Shape two bar are placed in the footing. Shape two comprises of a length and there is B length and finally their G length. Now if we want to see total steel quantities, just like the footing concrete quantities, we will open our schedule. Now click on formatting. Select reinforcement volume. Change field formatting to calculate totals. Also in sorting tab, click on grand totals. Now our table shows total steel volume. This total steel volume is same as displayed in footing quantities. Estimated reinforcement volume. Now we will change this reinforcement volume to steel weight. Open rebar schedule. Click on fields at properties browser. We will make a custom field to calculate steel weight. Click on this add calculated parameter. Name it steel in pounds. Now change the discipline to structural. 
type to reinforcement volume. Now in formula click on three dots. To select reinforcement volume field, we will multiply this volume with density of steel. To find the weight of steel, steel density is 490 pound per feet cube. Now press OK. Now open formatting tab. Click on steel field. Now we will change field format. Uncheck use project setting. Change unit symbol to none. Now press OK. Open fields tab. Click on steel field and move it up next to reinforcement volume. Now open formatting tab. Select steel field and change field formatting to calculate totals. Now press OK. Now our bar bending schedule is showing total steel in pounds. Now our bar bending schedule for footings is ready. In our next video we will create a bar bending schedule. For columns, what do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.